and this is new, very to me, very welcome behavior. Good morning, everyone. This is Rocco coming at you for another 12.5.1.5 video. Um, we are off to do the Carl Sandburg route. I want to uh, go ahead and thank everyone, uh, all the new subscribers. I think I got like 40 subscribers off that last video, so welcome. All, all the new people here. Uh, I appreciate you sticking in to join me on this, our testing. Um, if you're new, we do testing you know, a little bit differently. Uh, everyone has their own unique way. Uh, and we sometimes will do kind of extreme challenges like this right here. It's a crazy hill test. I think I'm going to be doing this this week. And give me a comment if you want to see this video come out uh, probably at the beginning of the week. But, um, yeah, we're gonna see and kind of pay attention um, what our differences are. I know a lot of you commented on my very dirty windshield, so I, for you guys, I went and um, uh, cleaned the windshield. I think I could have done a better job of the inside. I don't know if you can tell right now, but I can, I can see some streaks still on the inside of the windshield. Uh, I do need it. It's just such a pain to clean it, um, so I don't do it very often, so I should do that more often. But yeah, everything is freshly clean. I had some dirt in front of the camera. I think that could have been what caused that, those red hands at the very end of the video. Um, so we'll see. Um, I'm gonna see how this works. I noticed it didn't speed up at the 45 change right there. And it seems to be a little bit you know, more conservative. It's slower getting onto the ramp right here. Which is not a bad thing. I think for a robot taxi, these are good habits. Though it shouldn't go that much below the speed limit in my opinion. So it's going like 10 under yesterday. And let's see if it's gonna get merged onto the highway. See it keep, keeps the blinker on the whole time which is good. Excellent. Hell, heck yeah. <laughs> heck yeah. And it turned back to the automatic thing. So uh, we don't have uh, version 12 on highway yet but it seems like they adjusted it to where it's version 12 getting onto the highway. And it's kept the blinker on the whole time, which is good. Um, that's what I was asking for in the last version. This person flying past with a... Okay, anyways. <laughs> um, I'm going to let a time lapse up to the bridge, but uh, I'll explain that here in a second. Well, maybe. So we are on the average profile, just so everyone's aware. But um, we'll see how it does once we get up up here just a little bit. Notice this digital sign. So the last few versions have been reading that sign. See, look, this um, it's uh, read the 55 sign finally, but it, it did that on the 12.4.3. So like mid up mid version, they sent something to allow it to read that or updated map data or something but I never got a new map data download so they they can definitely update stuff like that uh, over the air without you even noticing now you have it went from max to 66 you know and we're not really actually in a construction zone anymore right here is the thing Still gonna follow the speed. The speed limit has always been 55 right here, so 60 is very appropriate. This is what the speed it should be going right here. It should not be going faster than that, in my opinion. Uh, just because oftentimes at the bottom of this hill, there is a police car waiting. Now, since the construction started, that has changed a little bit. But, I, but um, this is uh, this bridge is finally done. I haven't made a video in this person in this van is crossing lanes. I haven't made a video since since uh, this bridge has been completed. It's uh, two or three weeks ago now, uh, and yeah, it's sweet. It'll be so awesome when this highway is finally three lanes all the way across. I'll be so happy because then you won't have to worry about trucks passing each other, and you can just finally get up the mountain. I really don't like sitting next to this this truck or van truck, whatever you call it, to my right. They're gonna slow down now, going up the mountain. Fortunately, there's no one behind me. See, this is where I would go ahead and speed back up to 65, which I guess is technically still 60 in here. There is actually a police car um, right around this bend. 
there would be a police car sitting, waiting for people to go, you know, go in 70. People do do that. There's someone been 80 through when it was a construction zone at 45. They were going 80, 80 and a 45. So it does happen. So right about right, I think right up here, uh, somewhere there's an opening in this gate, and there's a police car waiting for people to speed because it's technically not 65 yet. And this, uh, I think that's actually new behavior that it got over in the right lane. Uh, it's reading nav data better now. See, right here is where the police car would be. So it's waiting for people to be going 70 mile an hour and pull them over because it's not 70 here yet. But, um, yeah, that's new welcome behavior is that it seems to be get, getting over for our interchange a little bit sooner. Uh, I did not press, I thought that was in, let's go ahead and press this. Because I thought that was in my lane. If there was someone behind me, I would have pressed the accelerator, but I did not. So you saw how aggressively that braked right there, because I thought that was in my lane. Um, so that's kind of a regression, because it didn't used to do that. But, you know, I think the windshield is ever so slightly fogging up now. Yeah, it is. Let's go ahead and put it on auto. I try to turn off auto. It's like it's 60 degrees outside. 59 degrees outside. And I don't like running the AC compressor when it's that cool out. There's no reason to do it. And the only reason it's fogging up is because I have my dog in the back and he adds a lot of extra moisture to the air. And so it fogs up the windshield. Though, I do not want this. It's just too, too cold to have air blowing on me. Nor do I want the heat running. I shouldn't need that. I should. I wanted this turned off. Um, this is why in the summertime I don't want the heat running. There's no. I want to be able to turn the heat off. If I turn this temperature up, it's an auto defogging. If I turn this temperature up, then it would. Um, it'll blow heat. I don't need heat right now. If it blew heat, I would be too hot. I know it's 58 degrees outside, but in the summertime it's humid uh, here in the mountains. North Carolina and you just don't need heat at those temperatures I am looking forward okay that was annoying let's see if it stays in this lane because it really should because we're about to exit just not too far from now and in my opinion like this is my driving preference like I know it kind of annoys a lot of people but I saw a lot of people would have just passed this car and they got off the exit I'd rather, if I'm like within a reasonable distance to the exit right there, if a reasonable distance to the exit, exit, it should stay in the right lane. And this is new, very, to me, very welcome behavior. That it's going ahead and staying in the right lane. It's not trying to pass the car last minute on the exit. Now let's see if it slows down on this exit. See, it's, it's speeding back up. See, it's flipping in between all these speed limits. Much better. Oh yeah, that's much better much better now once they finally have the highway stack I won't try to speed back up getting off the highway because you saw it flipping between the different speed limits there that, that's much better because uh, it always would get off the highways far too quickly and this is ooh, this is nice oh that's not oh come on there's no there's no other car coming ah that seems like a mild regression well we need more testing though but it was good because it was going to go out and then it stopped because it got confused if that car is in my lane or not. It seems like this version is more hesitant. Which is, it's like they make public releases more hesitant, which is really frustrating. Like it, it, it ruins the experience when it has all that hesitancy. And that's the thing that, you know, um, Chris Dirty Tesla and Chuck and, um, and uh, AI driver, they, they're all said 12.5 and um, whole Mars and all this, saying 12.5 um, is so smooth. I mean, of course, they're on hardware four. Like this type of stuff. It's it's checking, it doesn't need, it didn't need to stop there. Like this is appropriate, appropriate speed to go over those railroad tracks. Um, but that's, it did that in the previous version. 
So what I'm interested here is to see if it's going to stay slow on this road or go about to 35. The previous version kind of did this too. I think if a car came up behind me, it would probably speed up a little bit. Because that has done that before. And of course, now we have a car in front of me. Let's see how that handles that. But yeah, back to the hardware 4. So everyone says like this is the smoothest version by far etc 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 and I'm like well it was about like there's so many cases in the you know this is the second drive I've done on it so several cases are just like well it's about to be like the smoothest it's been and all of a sudden it just breaks it's like that highway the semi truck on the highway which of course is not remember not version 12 it's version 11 still um or the like uh having to slow down for that blinking yellow to get onto this road you know that type of stuff it just kind of it kind of ruins the potential that has it's so close to being super smooth but then it ruins it what is what was smooth it's getting off the highway it was much better that's that was smoother much more pleasant now we um it'll be my third separate drive or video today will be getting off the exit getting back home that one, I, I just disengaged the other day just to give it training data. And it was just going way too fast off the highway going down this ramp. And it's just not comfortable from a passenger experience to do that. This unproductive left is interesting because there's a tree to the right that always makes it, it's, it's a blind, it's a blind turn. Like there's a car coming right now and it's turning. It, that I didn't like that for two reasons one it shouldn't it, it was encroaching on that truck I know that truck was turning it the car didn't seem to realize the truck was turning it kept on getting closer to it sometimes people will cut the corner sh short and if I keep on getting close to the truck if it cuts the corner short now it's now it hits me how it hits the nose of my car so it has to realize okay you can't be creeping up on a car that's mid-turn you that's you can't do that because that there's a chance that truck could cut the corner short all of a sudden and now it's scraping against my bumper second reason is it really didn't check um, for oncoming traffic on that turn and just kind of went for it uh, the previous versions would check and you know from a human standpoint maybe the car was just fine I'm sure because it can it can process a lot quicker than we can but it still didn't feel comfortable doing that so from a human standpoint those are two reasons why I don't think that was good but this is like the first time I've ever had a car turn left at the same time I approached so that's a rare scenario for me slowed down too much going around this curve I hope they didn't regress curves we'll find out on the crazy hill test Let's see if it's gonna stay stopped at this light here. Okay. Like I see how it's turning the wheel. Oh, my hands are here. Like um, I guess humans might do that when they're stopped. I, I mean, this is good. It waited until the light turned green. Let's see if it cuts this quarter up here uh, too sharply. It usually does that. It seems to be breaking a little bit early for this light. Like, it's stopping too soon before the... Interesting. So, they're gonna cut this too sharply. Yeah, it's still too sharp in my opinion. It gets too close to the curb. And it just, it makes it... It makes it uncomfortable because it feels like it's gonna clip this side of my wheel. That was a zero intervention drive, everyone. Is it gonna give me a parking option? No. Let's go park right here. Anyways, yeah, zero interventions. Is it the best it's ever been? Nah. It's in top three for sure. Um, I don't know, it's probably it's top three for sure. Um, 
If it wasn't for... If it wasn't for breaking for that truck on the highway, which, you know, is kind of a rare scenario, and if it wasn't for... Uh, what was the other issue it kind of breaked for? I don't know. There's one other issue. Um, I'll put them in the chapters down below. But, um, yeah. It's just... The smoothness could be just slightly better. But we have a couple more drives to do today. Um, I'm very happy with this version. And I think you're going to be very happy as well once you receive it. We're going to go out on a hike. You can hear Onyx in the background. But I appreciate you watching. If you're uh, still watching at this point, go ahead and give me a like. Um, I guess support the channel, all that stuff. Uh, and I appreciate you watching. See you in the next video. Bye, everyone.